Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Marino 300 speaking, I hope all y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed and loved making that video for all of you. Yeah, last video was actually the final one, the final trailblazing mission quest. If you didn't know that, we finished it all. So, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing this episode, but we're going to be doing quests, I hope. As many as we can. Um, hello. Ah, oh, it's too many others. And welcome. We'll jump right in, schools. I totally did not mess that up. Make sure to read and follow all the all the rules. Who else for me? Can I pin it? Unable to pin. That's pretty true. There was some obvious. Okay, let's go right into this one. I just updated my computer, uh, my laptop, so I'm not sure how good this shall be. Yeah. Right. Oh yes, we have a message. Hey, I'm gonna cut to the chase. Have you heard from Ching Jing lately? Um, haven't talked for a while. He told me to wait for updates. I'm not a close friend of his, but since he's my game mate, I'm still quite worried whether his mental state is fit to play with me in the future. So let's check up on him. I'll see you at the airship commission. Ooh. So yeah, um, we have finished all the things. So we were doing all of these missions, that one, and then the prologue. So yeah. Ooh. Finally got a hold of you. I heard you can't to the left food. Behind, beyond the evenings. Can you help me? I'm so annoyed. How come? Tell me. I've been in the long food card nights for a while. Aside from my day, aside from daily patriots, I'm pretty much have done nothing. When will I be able to become a competent cloud knight? I'm competent enough. Um, it's not like that. Everyone dreamed of being a legend. I grew up listening to my mom talking about the heroes among the Cloud Knights ranks, so it makes sense for me to dream of greatness. Come join the Nameless. Oh. Wait, will we get another person? Some so Oh, so we got no definitive answer there. Yeah, I don't know what we were actually doing because in the next two episodes about we're gonna do everything, like all the remaining quests. Like, the only things I can think of is a hundred percenting everything. It can make me a completionist account, actually. Wait, is my mic actually working? Okay, it is. When will the next update come out? I want more missions. Oh, and as per usual, at the start of episodes, you shall do a single draw. Just a single draw. Let's see what our luck shall be today. Oh, okay. Probably avoid. Or pioneering. Well, that's okay. So, um, no, I'm not talking about challenge. We're not doing that. 
All the way to the bottom, first off, daily missions, actually. Hey, Zero, if you're in the um, stream currently, can you pin the make sure to read and follow all the rules? Because my I'm for some reason unable to select or late. pin it. Where to now? That would be greatly appreciated. Oh, forgot to change the title. I should find. Yeah. Yeah, she's that kind of spell it. Are you trying to have a staring contest? Like to help other people just Ah, uh, there's no dialogue. This is men and everyone. Okay, friend. So now we're discussing on how to make friends. Okay, we need to photo then. Go back. Mm -hmm. Are you trying? I'm going to get ready. Okay. Finally. Okay. Convince Maya to be Wallace's friend. Uh how They are saying, but they are also in your mind. This is, oh, here to like English. Okay. 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 So she only cares about rich friends. Uh, enough about them. Um, here we are. Okay, that's our daily mission. Fifty four, eh? I wonder how much the teacher and a friend can see. Wait, I mean, that means I have to yell at this guy even more? Wait, what? <sighs> this stream isn't going to be a long stream. I'm estimating about two hours, probably two and a half hours, because I don't want to rush through everything. Because that would just be too fast.
Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're honestly speaking, I think. I don't want to badmouth this guy. Especially when there's uh, people nearby. Well, I'm. It's, Ah, no. Ah, uh, where are you? Let me see them. What are them arrow things? Oh, well, um... Down there, I okay. can. No. Speak, not haste. Detected. I didn't get detected. Well, two hundred meters that way again. Is that bad? Yes, it is indeed. Well, isn't that fabulous? No. Repair. Okay, so the S needs to go there. What? Oh, wait. Wait. Everything seems to be going downhill here. Yeah? That is why. That is why. Oh, no. Is that be working now? Okay. Okay, everything seems to be sorting itself out, by the way. Okay. It seems to be nothing laggy. Oh, this is gonna be a um a fight. Yeah. Oh sorry. The wind is rough. Wait, no, it's one of these. Oh no. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Can I just We're gonna do a lot of character grinding to see if we can eventually, uh, what you call it, do SS rank on all of them things. Let's make it quick. Raise to 33. I think that was a bad idea. And boom! That was perfect! Ooh. Man. 
stage four. Well, then you should fix the errors in Team Zambia. Wait, let's see. Isn't Master Ryan already dead? Are we going to be summoning something? Looks like we're going to be summoning a soul. Audio when I did this. Yeah. Just a moment, I'm just cracking my knuckles. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh... Let's do this. A wild trotter appears. As easy as that. The wind is rough. From the blow. You could have surrendered. Let's make it quick. No one missed the monster. Mm, all three of them dead. A few Ooh, more days. That's a lot of stuff. That's the quest. All right. Rules. Are made to be broken. broken. Like By the order of the ten, execute the Mara struck. Now it's a fair battle. As easy as that. Do you admit this? Boom. Yay! And another teleport. Okay. Thank you. By the way, if I do complete all the quests, um, I might. Um, I might not, like, stream, but that's okay, I might actually, because of, um, I want to upgrade my characters, but, uh, by the way, I'm only going to be doing two hour, around two hour-ish streams for now, so we don't go through everything so fast. Although, we'll see about the last stream. We need to make it look like that, so... Just over there. I 
And here's the second one. Too short. I know they're too short, but then we're going to go through all the missions too fast. We're going to go through all the missions too fast, then the gameplay will be kind of boring because it will literally just be trying to upgrade my characters, trying to do just upgrading. And I don't want it to just speed up. No match for me. Last stream was a very long stream for me. My first five hour stream. But here's, here's the difference. For Genshin Impact, I will be able to do five hour streams. But I probably won't be able to do it because school will be starting back up soon. And I'm just another year. No more. It's one minute. And now about I do seven hour streams, because then I won't be doing nothing other than needing to stream, really. And that looks like... That really matters. I would stay there. Yes. No. Um, my brain's confused. So it needs to look. Ah, it's all the same spots. But. Oh, wait a minute. Is it. So that's how it works. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I would make him longer if I, if I could, but I don't want to do seven hour stream with just grinding for characters, because that's really going to get very boring really, really fast for me. Because there's basically going to be no commentary, because, yeah, there's no commentary needed. Let's just hope the new update will bring some, like, a lot more gambling. Who knows, when I start earning money from this game, not from this streaming and YouTubing stuff, who knows, I'll be able to get be um, play better games like, ooh, Subnautica would be a cool one. That one would be a really cool one, actually. Like, Subnautica would be actually a good series. Um, you can make so much on it. I have played it before, only a little bit though. Let's go to Star Skiff Star Skiff Haven. What do you think, Zero? Would possibly Subnautica be a good game? Oh, there's this other game series that I'm thinking of actually. This other game series. I can't put my finger on it. Come on, think.
Would you look at that? Maybe. Full sun. Now we can do back to business. Baloo. It's getting late. He's right over here. Dragon Lady's right over here. Exalting Sanctum. Yep, right here. You're easy to spot. <laughs> Are you going to arm alley? A new it. arrival like you should get a tour guide. And you want some food. around here like the back of my hand i'm the best tour guide around okay okay i won't charge anything for my services except for food of course of course <laughs> and if you get into medical trouble gastrointestinal discomfort sprayed ankle yada yada you'll have a professional doctor right by your side that's a two-in-one deal that's actually pretty useful let the food all begin. <laughs> Yay! Let the food oh, all begin. Yeah. Do you want the snacks to sell out? I believe there's going to be enemies, so I'm not going to switch to Violet. <laughs> Come on, let's see if I can get a good screenshot of <laughs> We've reached our destination, Aram Alley. Of course, the main feature of this tour is the endless selection of tasty delicacies. <laughs> of course. The bulk dishes at Spices Supreme are a must try. This is the only place on the lawful you can find them. <laughs> Very good. So, now that we're here... I'm sure I have to keep right Ooh, curly confused pork, crisp melon and diced chicken, star terror braised pork, silly oil beef <laughs> awful stew, granny chest tofu. Uh, I'm getting tired seeing them all. Hmm. Reciting medicine ingredients is easier than this. It's because you're hungry. Let's start with the snack stands. You can browse around for a bit. I'll go find us a seat while you make up your mind. <laughs> well, if I start seeing my credits going down by the thousands, then I shall be concerned. I should see what the other customers have to say about the food here. Speak to the customers. Uh, this travel guide needs an update. Oh, you want to know which snack stalls I recommend around here? Well, you've come to the right person. <laughs> it's my first time here too, but I've tried everything. Uh, there's a lot of things here that I've never even heard of. I was kind of scared to try them. Oh, have you heard of mung bean soda? The Sienjo locals say it's delicious. So I bought one, took a sip, and then sprayed it all over the diners at the next table. Ugh. Personally, if I was to buy some, I'd drink it. Grayish green color and a sour, rotten flavor. Ugh. I reckon there's a handful of food connoisseurs that actually like it. <laughs> Try some if you dare, but don't get your hopes up. One out of three. Uh, do these people know nothing about the value of brand exposure? That's marketing 101. Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. We've never met. Oh, are you wondering what's good to eat around here? Yes. Well, I can help you with that. I'm known around here as the forager. 
I venture into all manner of culinary establishments to taste test their food. <laughs> Ooh. Taste test, you mean three tickets the to eat. The seller at this food stall won't let me do any taste testing because I'm not a paying customer. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they don't want free publicity, that's their loss. You're clearly not familiar with this line of work. Taste testing gives the restaurant publicity. That means a higher sales conversion. Ah, forget That's it. There are other food vendors here waiting for me to appraise them. I'm sure there are. But... I'm counting on you to go buy all the snacks. Same great taste. Oh, interested in the food? In Aramali, there's no such thing as a bad food stall. Just close your eyes and pick one at random. My name's Shaohan. I'm originally from Aramali, but this is my first visit in a long time. When I was away, I'd stay up at night reminiscing about the flavors and aromas of this place. This place sounds like a very good place to go. Sounds like one of them. One of them high fancy restaurants nearby. Are you feeling adventurous or cautious? If you're really feeling adventurous, you could try some mung bean soda. I describe mm. the taste as unique and a little sour. He said completely it's different. Best to drink it in big gulps and let it fizzle in your stomach. That's a great feeling. I will take that recommendation. Oh, a visitor from afar. May I ask you a question? Do you like Arumali? Glad to hear. We always try to treat visitors from outside well. I hope you don't mind me prattling on, but since you're an outworlder, are you familiar with the IPC? Do you know if it has a good reputation? A great business. Well, I know it is. It's a funny idiot. It's it's getting funny. That's true, and they made it much more convenient to exchange strail and credits. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't just leave you here empty-handed. Take a look at the menu, order whatever you want. It's on the house. Uh, no. Alrighty. What for body? Take your time. Mm. That'll be good for like good occasions. Okay. I hope she likes she likes it. Mung bean soda? Is this a threat of prank? Okay. Drinking medicine. Close your eyes and cross your heart. Ah, it's the dragon lady. Here, I'll get you another serving. No need to be shy. Huh? Wait, Auntie, I'm not thirsty. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Things bristling for dinos and time flies for dinos. You, when you return to your senses, you find yourself immersed in the atmosphere of a dreams alley, bus, bustling, bustling night market. Ooh. Uh, oh. I'm so full of snacks, I can hardly move. I haven't even gotten around to business yet. I wanted to stop by Elegance Pagoda to buy some medicine <laughs> jars while I'm out. Come on, let's go. You better make it fast. Oh, okay. 
Wait, is this another teleporting place? No, it can't be. Hey! What's going on at the dock? Some of the dock workers got into an argument with the IPC folks. Oh no. Let's go fight some Watch people. Your words. Oh. No need to be aggressive here. How about we go see what's happening at the dock? Let's go. Sounds exciting. I'm obviously going to be taking the laugh food side. Why did you decide to show up, little Miss Feisty? How is this any of your business? Please, Miss, allow our room alley merchant guild to take care of this matter. You're from the merchant guild? What a joke. You people can't take care of any. Everyone here knows that our room alley merchant guild is as incompetent as it is dysfunctional. The lease for the docks isn't even paid yet. Anyone care to guess whose fault that is? I'll tell you, the Merchant Guild. I'm not denying that. Then say it out loud so everyone can hear. Our room alley Merchant Guild apologizes to every vendor here for defaulting on the lease and leaving us to pick up the mess. Better yet, get down on your knees and beg for... Wait, easy. We just came to watch. Um, fighting. You're being completely unreasonable. Why can't we talk this over? I'm not being unreasonable. I'm making a friendly inquiry. When will the IPC receive its lease payments? I'm afraid we can't pay at the moment. We leased this whole dock to your merchant guild, hoping that it would rejuvenate our room alley. And look at it now. A perfectly good freight dock has gone to waste. They said at the moment. That doesn't mean they'll never make the payments. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so gullible. How about we make a little bet? If the merchant guild can pay back the money it owes, I'll get down on my knees and apologize to all the people of our room alley. How much is it? I'll shout it loud and clear. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. And then I'll bark like a dog. How does that sound? How much is it? Okay. And if they can't? Oh, that's simple. You apologize to me in front of all the people of our room alley. Mm. And you bark like a dog. Okay. Now this is a choice. So, so uh, you're not being very helpful, are you? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> you all heard that, right? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, so we can make this guy pay. On the contrary. Yeah. I'm paying it in full. Yes. There's no reason for you to take such a bet. We're the ones who dragged you into the heads, okay? Seeing that arrogant sneer on his face made me sick to my stomach. I had Same to here. do something. We appreciate you sticking up for us. Um, but this... Now that I think about it, if I lose the bet, it'll reflect badly <laughs> on the Cloud Knights. You can't give in to bullies. My name is Ming Shi. I'm the secretary of Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Most people just call me Miss Secretary. This leasing dispute is between the IPC and the Merchant Guild. You shouldn't have been dragged into it. Sure is. I've already started placing bets. Okay. So, is it true that the Merchant Guild can't pay back the lease? <sighs> Miss Secretary, just tell it like it is. As things stand now, the Merchant Guild is in no position to pay back the lease. So it's like a win-win situation. Yes, the entire port. Now we owe the IPC an arm and a leg. The food hawkers are thriving, but dock operations and other businesses are stretched to the breaking point. If we make the businesses more profitable, then maybe we have a chance of paying back the IPC. How much is it? If we cut costs and tap into new revenue streams, we can turn things around. A lot of vendors in Arumali don't want anything to do with the dock, though. 
So it may be hard to find new sources of revenue. What about cutting costs? Cutting costs means reducing expenses. As you can see, the dock isn't even fully utilized. And the workers, well... Uh, hey, 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 don't get any funny ideas about laying people off. Miss Secretary is just helping us think of ideas. But if you ask me, I think our ordering system is rather inefficient. I'm sure we could reduce our costs if we found a way to improve it. I didn't realize you were such an entrepreneur. I'm not. I'm going to probably Even break this all the way down to the ground. To solve anything. Is this short lifer really up to the job? Uh, at this point, I guess we've got nothing to lose. I'm about to make this entire place bankrupt. Oh no. Oh no, I'm actually... Oh no! Um... Button select goods and perform rapid arrangements. Drag and rotate goods and change their positions. Yeah. Okay. Hang back there. Rapid range shipping dog. General orders. See you shipping when it when you begin shipping. Okay. Okay. Shipping complete. Funding goal. Only a hundred thousand credit. We've got an. Okay. We actually got a major profit. shipping costs. Isn't this a little unsafe? Don't worry. Our motto is safety first. Same as my mother's. My mom's. Jeez, don't get too full of yourself. The other one was disrespectful. Uh, impressive, but uh, if you ask me... Inventory efficiency isn't enough to save us. If Heron Express doesn't deliver the goods, then they're just gonna sit around collecting dust. Okay, let's get to the next part. Your point. If you have the time, could you accompany me to Heron Express's Arumali branch office? Oh yeah, sure. Of course. It's just I'm better with brawn than brains. I'm better. And let's. Right, let's do this. Hmm. I shall label this one. We saved our own alley. We're going to bankruptcy. Mr. Young Fong? Why, it's Miss Secretary. And who do we have here? I'm Su Shang of the Cloud Knights. I think you already know the little girl with horns on her head. And this is. Good to and Liz Marino, 300. Uh, secretary, I heard you made a bet with the IPC. And if you lose, you have to bark like a dog? <laughs> the word got out pretty quickly, huh? Oh, wait. Those so, uh, from the IPC are the worst. How did you get bogged down with them? Okay, I'm definitely winning this. That's 
right. No one else in Arum Alley needs to worry. It's all on me. Wait. We made our inventory more efficient. But the dock workers said we still need a way to distribute the goods. I was wondering... Those dock workers don't want to take responsibility. And I'm afraid it's not our responsibility either. Then who should we blame? <sighs> the IPC said that they would handle operations at Arum Alley and promised to give subsidies to the vendors. I suspect they secretly told all the vendors not to use the dock for logistics. That's a good point if we can't pay back the rent. The financial damages will be manageable, mm -hmm. but the reputational damage will be irreparable. Okay. If the Merchant Guild loses everyone's trust, it'll become an empty shell of its former self. And without the Merchant Guild, the IPC will have no competitors in Arum Alley's business district. The IPC wants to turn this place into a big logistics warehouse. By then, the food hawkers and used goods stores will have to move away. Yep, uh -huh. they're going to get wet on. No more Arum Alley! We're winning this. Correct. The physical space will still exist, but the Arum Alley we all know, its fragrances, its bustling tourists, will be nothing more than a memory. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What are we going to do about the matter at hand? On the logistics side, we can reduce costs by making sure the delivery routes are planned efficiently. Yes. Mr. Yongfeng, please allow our friend to try her hand at it. She has some skills that could prove useful in this area. Deliver us to Brown T Simpson. See? She's a quick thinker. Let's get started. Okay. Orders. Start from the shore at the end of the route. Show your route the higher the score. What I mean, man. Strong and got to acquire new goods. Okay. It just tells me what to do. It's not letting me do it yet. Oh, wait, it might do it. It might let me do it later. Ooh, it's this. Okay, looks like we'll be able to do more of this. With these routes in place, logistics costs will be reduced significantly. I knew it! You're the heroes who can help us revitalize Arum Alley. Now, can you tell us what really happened to Arum Alley? Well, Arum Alley was originally the busiest night market in Exalting Sanctum. In days past, this alley, famed for its food and commerce, was brimming with Arumatons collecting goods for their masters. But that prosperity has long since passed. I wonder why. Restrictions were placed on civilian Arumatons and new commercial centers began to spring up. It was like being on a gentle downhill slope. Everyone knew things were changing, but no one thought it was serious. When the Lawfu was moored for maintenance and trade with the IPC increased, a new threat emerged for the Merchant Guild. The IPC's announcement of a bid for the development of Arum Alley. Their promises were visible, tangible, and extremely aggressive. When the gentle downhill slope suddenly became the edge of a cliff, no one could pretend to ignore it anymore. Both the Merchant Guild and Arum Alley itself were in jeopardy. 
The contract for operating Arum Alley's business district is about to expire. And the IPC's regional director has seen an opportunity. They orchestrated the dock debt crisis, and that's just the beginning. Meanwhile, vendors in Arum Alley have expressed mixed feelings about the IPC. Some see it as a crouching tiger with malicious intentions, while others see the IPC's promise of high profits as a chance to turn things around. Okay. But now the chill is setting in. Everyone is worried that Arum Alley is going to disappear. The Merchant Guild has to do something to help the merchants here. I get the gist of it. Therefore, on behalf of the Merchant Guild, I would like to formally extend an invitation to you all to serve as business advisors in Accepted. the plan to save Arum Alley. Accepted. Oh, excellent. Why don't you talk it over with everyone first? Now I'm doing this now. I really hope you can help out. I'm not worried about that. I just want to help save Aramali. My home, the Sienjo Yaoqing, had much closer ties with the IPC. Uh, initially, people thought they were just engaging in a little interstellar investment. But over time, things changed. Gradually, the Yaoqing's younger generations began to enjoy the immersion produced by the IPC's entertainment division. Once they started wearing IPC clothing lines, you could hardly tell if they were Sienjo locals or IPC employees. Okay. After their coming of age ceremonies, a lot of them aspired to join the IPC. To make it big, the architecture across the whole delve began to change. The graceful flying eaves I saw as a child became fewer and fewer, and, and the glazed tiles and fallow earth bricks gradually disappeared. Sleek, monolithic IPC buildings started sprouting up everywhere. Many of the Yaoqing locals older than 500, like my mother, they'll say the Yaoqing has changed. But they're not sure whether this change is leading to a better future, or if it's allowing short-life species to dictate their way of life. It's making everyone anxious. When I saw Ming Si being confronted by the IPC, I felt the same uneasiness. She's been around several lifespans longer than that stooge, but somehow she was still at a loss for how to deal with him. If our opponents were martial arts types, I could hold my own against them. But Arum Alley's problems aren't something we can fight off with a sword. And how you look at it. I want to help the Merchant Guild. I want to help everyone at Arum Alley. I will help. <sighs> I only came here for the food. I didn't expect to get tangled uh -huh. up in all this dock leasing stuff. We know you only came here for so, the food. If you're willing to give it a shot, maybe Arum Alley doesn't have to disappear. We haven't contributed any. So what? <laughs> the food's the best bit. Aramali without food would be like a pill without medicine. Meaningless. Sure. Let's get this started. Will you become a business advisor for Arum Alley? Great. I still haven't discussed any of this with the president. Let's go pay them a visit. Okay. Yes. Okay, so. so the docks. Two orders are waiting. Okay. We are going to save our own alley. Miss Lian Yin, please tell the president that I have someone who can help us with the leasing situation at the dock, and also bring our own alley back to its former glory. I'll go ask the president's opinion on the matter. Please wait a moment. Mm. Okay. 
acá. Okay. The president trusts Miss Secretary's judgment, but the applicant still needs to pass a test. You must integrate Oldie's depot into the logistics plan. Final round, easy land. Transported to the dogs, Mr. I'm going to see here. Let's see, it's a Five. Yeah, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 6, I have 7. It's not the highest. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Perfecto. Just Perfecto. The president acknowledges your expertise and agrees to confer management responsibilities accordingly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild would like to issue a formal request. Please help us emerge from this crisis and revitalize Aram Ali. Now that that's settled, please come see me at the dock when you have time. You'll be able to help the dock workers do the inventory and help Heron Express with logistics planning. Okay, so it looks like I have to do a balance of both. All the goings on in Aram Ali, including rumors and the latest gossip. If we can solve some of the problems in the community, it could help in rejuvenating our rally. Okay. If it involves helping people in need, count me in too. Anytime you need anything, come find me. The important thing right now is to generate enough revenue before the payment due date. Yes, that is true. Uh, hello? Oh. I'll be off to the dock then. Stop by any time. I'm gonna start immediately. First off. Ah. Uh. What was that? Ah, oh, there's a this other one. Start operations. Let's go. Yeah, you can see the routes above. Wait a minute. Is this a... It is... It is, it is, it is. Okay. So I can, uh, I can earn a lot of good things.
I can see who's waiting. Um. Uh, yo, it's you. You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. I knew it. Curious cats like us usually have a better sixth sense. I'm a cat it's now. It's easier for us to perceive the unseen. Enough chit chat. Look. This is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gray here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Lofu. Okay. Fixtral Wait, is that a QR code? Don't forget to like, follow, and share. Or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's some paranormal activity You're such a scary here. cat. You said you'd protect me. How do I stop the from the body? What? <laughs> what? And a group of flames suddenly grew super big, and then they floated right out to us, and they were like, ah! and, and Sushong was like, Eek! and then she fell over. Miss Sushong, can you get up? Aren't you getting cold? Ugh. Me and my bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? What happened to Tengyong, eh? Uh, it's called editing. I edited it. That way I can show what happened before and after. Anyway, the key moment was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. That's what I'm saying! At first, Sushong didn't believe that Fixtral Garden was haunted. But after the judges showed up? In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Exactly! Now, do you believe that my content isn't click- Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore? I understand. I have to think it over. I have to do the think it over part. Wait, is that an actual mission? It was. I would have started a very long mission. No. Now that you're here, let's get started on the dock. Oh. <laughs> specific types of goods, only things, specific types, places. Okay. So I need to Look at that. I think this is the right thing to do. Oh, 
Nice. Ooh. Remaining all this is two. <laughs> okay. Should be done. One more. Okay, so rotate, rotate, place, place, rotate, place, rotate. I think we're doing this correctly. We're saving the island. Okay, navigating the app. Because if we do, it's a good thing. Okay. I wonder what he used that thing. So yeah, zero. What happened to Crud? Let's go today. It's getting late. What happened what to Tingyu? Eh? Ah, uh, come through.
Yeah, it's m maybe. It's a maybe for now. <sighs> Storytelling is when it's friends against. Emotion into his performance. Mr. Zhang got a lot of emotion into his performance. Not really good at storytelling, though. Not good at all. Let's go back and speak to back and forth. I just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Ah, <laughs> oh, then they must have, the parents must have known that was not gonna happen. Yes, let's uh, go. And then this will be a new trading route as well. Man. Not overlying, it needs to get in that one, right? Or does it go as it was before? Do you want me to like go around or something? Terrible. Let's try this in. It works, okay, it works. There's no problem, it works. It worked. Okay. Yay. And look, all the chairs are out again. We're live in the place right back up. Buns are huge. Just a few and you'll be full. To obtain the funding of a hundred thousand credits. I could have helped you this entire time. We keep going the long way around. We'll be in the red. We keep doing that, but there's no indefinite rewards. So I shall actually wait for the entire time. It's tables, chairs, and barrels. So if table requires four, chair requires one, and then this. Mm. 
think we need a green spoon. Wait, so you can make this thing have a lot more profits? It would technically be better. could go above the thing. What's up there? There's three, and then... Oh, no suitable spot. Okay. If there's no suitable spots, these things have to go on them tires. Can't stand. They require two. No available spots. I can't place them on top. Yes, please. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I completely forgot about them. Just think how to make this more expensive. That's how my brain should be working, okay? How to make this more expensive. That is what I should start with, okay. Is this... Achieve a two thousand one hundred. What they lack in the goods. What can I say? Special orders. Wait, is that the bomb? Regardless of, there's still more work to do to revitalize Arum Alley. Let's give it our all. I believe so too. Okay, they will require the thing. Yep. Just like that. Hmm. But wait a minute. If I'm thinking, make this as expensive as possible. Thinking something and it wouldn't work. Hmm. 
Because if I had like a single tile once, I could stack something infinitely. Yes. More money required. That's a lot of debt crisis. Yes. I have something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. The Merchant Guild promises that we will use the money where it is meant to be spent. No disappointment, the funds will be used for the overall repair and upgrade of the dock. Which means we won't be able to use the dock's shipping logistics for a while. You mean I just got a bunch of no I didn't. Oh I got new things here though. It's not as I wish. No. We want as much as we possibly can. It's just to get more money. More money, more money. We have at least sixteen goods. That's six. What? Oh, I see now. I mean, utilize that. Get okay, all three of that. Get another carpet. Wait. Wow.
in order to reward you. Alright, but there's so much more that I can do. I know there's more. Where is this more? Is it in like my like inventory? There's more. I know there's more. There's nothing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. My secretary asked me to. What is all the rest of the tasks I can do? Where can I go check them? Coming of a cloud night. I'm not here today as a representative of the IPC. I'm just a tourist. You could just call me Scott. I, I have no quarrel with you. <laughs> Can a man come here to deliver a package without being surrounded? There's something wrong with the stuff this guy is shipping. It's causing damage to other people's goods, and our dock here is liable for the compensation. Ah, uh, uh, speak louder. Uh, I can't quite hear you. Is this how you treat guests in our room, Alley? Let's open that package right here, right now. Then we'll see what he's hiding. I'd be careful if I were you. If you damage my goods, you'll have to pay for them. Huh? A serious issue? No need to make this difficult. Let's open it. Let's check and see if there's anything suspicious. That's suspicious. Ah. Would you look at that? You tampered with this ingenium so that it caused damage to other goods on the freight skip. Uh, speak louder. I can... Conclusive evidence? Deny? Here, look carefully. This old piece of junk doesn't even belong to me. What? If you don't believe me, just ask the dock workers. Uh, if I may, he's telling the truth. This... Uh, then why was the toad here in the first place? Uh... That's your problem, not mine. Now, let me ask you a question. My vase was almost smashed to pieces. Oh, you wanted it to be broke? After making a big scene like that, don't... I... Well... Sorry. For this kind of barbarity, a single apology won't ever be enough. I want to this down the head. <sighs> he fooled us this once, but he won't fool us. Sorry, I should have stepped in. My mother always told me that as long as I honed my skills, I'd be able to deal with any situation. Why beat me up? Seems I've still got honing to do. Excuse me? I did nothing wrong. I'm trying to beat the other guy up. Before the pain <laughs> of due date arrives, I'm going to teach you two how to fight. With words. Follow me. Oh my or gosh. To see the president. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. Beat. Thank you for specifying. 
still more work to do. The dock is undergoing an unscheduled safety inspection. That's where I can check it. Yes. That is very, very good. Oh, damn. Also, I've recorded my morning voice recently, and... Damn, it's different to my normal voice. Miss Secretary said that you want to learn how to get the That's upper okay. hand in an argument. Is that right? Seems like a second. I'm no secretary, more of a messenger. The president is aware of recent events and is willing to pass on some simple negotiation skills to you. Simple? I want the ones that roll a D20. And no, a nat 20. A critical hit, critical strike on this guy's forehead. Use bludgeoning words, I think it's called. Or I, uh, I'm messing. I'm brutalizing this something. Um, it's not harmful words. What is that skill called again? Um. Uh, oh no, I forgot. Ah well, it's okay. Rule one: Prepare your ace card in advance. Just as Cloud Knights ready their weapons before entering battle, you should have your ace card ready before you walk up to the negotiating table. I will present you with a few items, and you need to examine them carefully. The records show that a dock worker named Ah Fung recently received credit remitted by the IPC, spaced out over several installments. This is the box that was opened earlier at the dock. The one containing the Golden Cloud Toad. The name and contact information of the sender were deliberately crossed out, but records from the Heron Express show that the sender is Ah Fung. Rule 2. Play your ace card at the right time. These documents can only be truly effective when your opponent reveals a weak spot. I like how to find that you literally found the only loophole through my entire uh, auto mod thing. The only loophole that I have missed. You have got to be kidding me. How about this? I've prepared a little practice exercise for you. What exactly does the president have up their sleeve? Uh, I don't know anything. I don't have anything to say. Let's go to two. The bait starts uh, my now. My name's Arfong. I was the one who brought out the box containing the Golden Cloud Toad. I didn't see any boxes, only the Golden Cloud Toad. Um, if goods need to be inspected, we remove the packaging ahead of time. You wouldn't want to do all that work yourself. Um, my name's Arfong. I was the one who brought out the box containing the Golden Cloud Toad. Um,. I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. Why do you emphasize that this matter has nothing to do with you? <sighs> I just want to avoid any misunderstanding, in case anyone has it in their head that I intentionally misplaced an item. I sense a hole in his logic. Um, I was told to move something, and I... I think this has a lot to do with you. Records from Heron Express show that this container was sent by a person named Ah Fung. Uh, that, that must be some kind of mistake. A complete de debate success. All right, Boom. all right, enough already. The IPC was worried that the lease for the dock would be paid off, so they had me move some things around. Is that so terrible? Is letting the IPC take over management of Aram Alley such a bad thing? Besides, What's up to you if I make some extra money? Mr. Ah Fung, our goal at the Merchant Guild is to help make Arum Alley a better place for everyone. Why would you work against that? Keep your heads in the sand if you like. But it's only a matter of time before Arum Alley becomes another warehouse for the IPC. That's right. You shouldn't be betraying your fellow workers for a quick profit. It seems that the truth has come out. Here is Mr. Afung's testimony. It may come in useful later. Yes. 
The payment for the dock is ready now. If you're ready for the next round of negotiations, come and see me at the dock. Right. That guy's gonna be sorry for everything he's done. Time we got a public apology. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Seems like we can get benefits, but not yet. I'm waiting. The IPC representative has arrived, and I've called for Miss. Remember, I'm... this is a war of words. Over to you. <laughs> Before we start, let's review the documents we have. We reached the required amount by the repayment date. This is the basis for our right to continue negotiations and is a testament to the business viability of Arum Alley. When the Arum Alley dock went up for public bid, the IPC won the bid using its interstellar trade resources and extensive capital. Then, the IPC leased the dock out to the Aramali Merchant Guild for management and operations. This contract can prove that the Merchant Guild has legitimate rights to operate the dock. The testimony of dock worker Ah Fung, who has admitted to disrupting the normal operations of the dock in exchange for payments from the IPC. Okay, I've looked over everything. Let's go. The notary from the Skyfaring Commission is already waiting for us. Let's go and on behalf of the Sky I am here to preside over the leasing dispute between the IPC and the Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Is there anything left to dispute? I'll cut to the chase. The Merchant Guild should have removed itself from Arum Alley a long time ago. Couldn't the IPC choose a sane person to represent them? Huh? Say that a little louder. I can't quite hear you. I said the IPC should send someone out. Goodness, there's no need to shout, little Miss Feisty. My ears are ringing. You should be saving your voice for your public apology. <clears throat> As the representative of the IPC, my presence in this negotiation is legal, reasonable, and sensible. Who do you plan on sending to the... Or how about that kid who got dragged into this fiasco at the last minute? Walking around like she owes someone 50 credit. That's enough, Representative Scott. Please state the IPC's side of the case. Negotiation. Debate starts now. The IPC now. specially leased operations of the dock to our room alley merchant guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. Why couldn't the IPC operate the dock from the beginning? Oh, are you implying that the IPC was setting a trap for the merchant? You're saying the IPC leased the dock to the merchant guild, who mismanaged it, in order to destroy the merchant guild's credibility? That was definitely your plan all along. Ah, so you admit the merchant guild mismanaged the dock. <laughs> The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to our room alley merchant guild in the hopes of seeking common interest. Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's this? Of the IPC specially leased up with the merchant guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The merchant guild has never refused to work with any shops in our room alley. Uh, never refused? Then let me ask you. How many shops? There will be a lot more later. Later? How much later? For the Sienjo, does later mean 500 years? <laughs> Can the shop owners here wait that long? Uh, 10 years, 20 years. Psst. What should I say? Is 20 about right? Stop the car. That's the thing. Well, I have the guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what? But the merchant guild refused the inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the our room alley dock, which does not create any value at all, are clear evidence of the dock has improved shipping efficiency and transaction volume is increasing. Ah, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough, did you? The shopkeepers in our alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all trying to turn a profit. The inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Our Room Alley dock, which does not... Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's this about? 
get that the inefficient coupled with the merchant guild's inability to pay the rent we believe the guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay we've already paid back the lease these are the funds from arum alley merchant guild the guild has turned a profit and is able to pay back what it owes what you already paid back the lease <laughs> the documentation provided by arum alley merchant guild is true and credible and according to the lease contract between the two parties, the Merchant Guild still holds the rights to operate the dock. Next order of business. The Merchant Guild has accused Representative Scott of secretly sabotaging dock operations. Do you have anything to say about that? Don't be so slanderous! Why would I stoop so low? What do- Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's this about- how did you know about- I use the shipping services too, you know. Do you have any idea how often my packages are damaged in transit? I didn't stream because of his annoying voice. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's completely okay. I currently don't have the sound on. <laughs> don't feign ignorance. Isn't that all by your own design? No, it's sound on for me. I need to unmute it. Don't be so slanderous! Why would I- Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations! How could I possibly buy off a dock worker? The absurdity! We have the testimony of Ah Fung. This testimony is concrete proof that you instructed him to sabotage shipments. What? what? That little- Aren't the Xianzhou people always preaching about righteousness? Oh, I gave him all that money! And he sold me out in a heartbeat! Darn it! Debate success. If the evidence presented is true, Mr. Scott, then this constitutes improper business practices, and the Sky Faring Commission will conduct a follow up investigation. How did this happen? How did the plan go awry? Greater. Don't forget about our bet. You have to apologize in front of everyone. I should have lost the bet, actually. <laughs> what? Why should I apologize? Because you use dirty tricks to trample all over the honest work of others. An apology alone won't be enough to fix the damage. If it were, I'd make you do it a thousand times over. Consider yourself lucky it's just the once. <laughs> I hereby apologize to Harum Alley. Hurry up! I I apologize to all the people of Harum Alley. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. Where's the barking? Yes, right. yes, yes. Uh, enough. Woof, 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 woof. Okay. Woof, woof. Oh. Imagine he just said the worst despicable thing in dog. <laughs> what a clown show. This arbitration is hereby resolved. There you go, it's resolved. Yeah. Thanks to all of you, we managed to pull through the dock's debt crisis. Worth every step. We should take advantage of the momentum to upgrade the Arum Alley dock and increase its transaction volume. I'm preparing to upgrade inventory and logistics planning. The previously idle dock is now ready for use, so come see me when you have time. The dock crisis is over for now, but the rejuvenation of Arum Alley has just begun. Word. We shall be able to help. The lease was paid off and the dock capacity is increasing. 
I told the workers to clear out areas that weren't utilized and use them to store extra cargo. Now the dock can support collaboration with more businesses. Let's keep working together for the revival of Arum Alley. Hold up just a second. Because I know I'll be out of it. I, I know I'll forget how to spell it later. There we are. Okay. Thanks to you and Sushong, Arumali's success is nearly a done deal. Serious. Okay. Let's go to this one now. We're gonna complete all of them. All the little mini quests. Okay, that's good. Let's go to this one here. If they do route advantages, then that means I'll be able to do so much more. We can now do all of this, and that means we should be able to upgrade the logistics place where we can get more trail. Dumplings and steamed barns. Um. What a nice. Take your time. There's. Oh no. Okay, okay. And I'll read it from now on to make sure I don't lose anything. Tourists in Arumali lately. There's even a long line for Immortal's Delight. Not upgrade. It's not upgrade. Um. Got 
about 60 currently. Eighty-eight. Okay, what can be improved? straight up okay let's try something so that would be a score of 92 93 that's all done all of that I need 19 more thank you very much upgrading the mid sense revenue I can see that Shipping targets, so one of these and two of them, you said. That is right. But. Do we kind of see? They must be placed on them. tables to them and what one not the time for jokes i'm also confused let's go have a word with him i sent a message to su shang telling her to meet up at oldie's depot let's go speak not haste wait a minute Wait a minute. Good. They've arrived. I also have something I wish to discuss with the Merchant Guild, but I'll wait for you to finish. The President fully appreciates your efforts and knows what you want to act. He believes that continuing to upgrade the dock, a strategy that is not fundamentally different from that of the IPC, will only destroy the unique character of Arum Alley. 
Okay. Aro Alley is a place brimming with personality, from the delicious food to the cultural antiques. Everything is built around visiting tourists and local residents, and that's what makes it such a special place. Okay. Based on historical data, continued development of the shipping operations will turn the area into a giant warehouse. The more right. the shipping capacity is increased, the less attractions there will be for visitors. Such an outcome is unacceptable for the shopkeepers and community of Arum Alley. Uh, the historical data isn't my forte. You better be telling the truth. Hmm. Very well. I believe it's my turn to. The Skyfaring Commission has received a joint request from several merchants concerning the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. Mr. President, the merchants would like you to resign as the president of the guild. There has come a day that the merchants of Aramali have betrayed me. I won't give up the vision I've built for Aramali. Whoa, wait a minute. I won't step down from my duties. Is that the president speaking? It is not my intention to interfere with the merchant guild's affairs. That's a robot. But as an old friend, I would like to remind you that Aram Alley only exists in the present, not in the past. Madam Yukon, the present is always made from the past, is it not? I suggest that you make some concessions to appease the merchants. If you don't follow Ming Shi's plans for the dock, she will temporarily take over your position. Ming Shi, I would like to hear your thoughts. President. I hope you understand that I am in no way vying for power over Arum Alley. I have listened to the President's vision of prosperity since I was a child, and I want to work to achieve that vision. But currently, your ideas conflict with ours. I understand. I can accept Ming Shi temporarily taking over my duties. However, Ming Shi must make her decision public and win the approval of both myself and all the merchants. Since you have shown confidence, those terms should be acceptable to you. Yes. I'll do my best, President. You have to remember that even when you're acting in my place, a crisis is still imminent. You must earn at least the amount of the bidding deposit to even have a chance of thwarting off the IPC. Very well. Since the president has come to a decision, I will be in charge of calling a public meeting. Ming Shi, I have something for you. When you are all finished here, remember to come and see me. Speak with Madame Madame Nicole. Looks like we're gonna go go above a bit more than two hours. And assisted Arm Ali Merchant Guild in their dispute with the IPC. Large. I'm not very good at that either. The no president is still a hero to Arm Ali. He helped it achieve prosperity, but a hero will not be embraced forever. I've seen the IPC's approach. They prioritize efficiency and a standard uniform business model across the galaxy. I warned them that their business model wouldn't work on the Xianzhou without adjustments. But the Merchant Guild's overly traditional mindset is a different obstacle. Let me put it bluntly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild has no chance of succeeding today. The IPC does have more capital on hand, but the review criteria are not solely focused on financial resources. My advice to you is to visit the shopkeeper, Mr. Xiao. He is the one who proposed the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. If you can get his support, you will definitely receive support from the other merchants. Thank you, Madam Yukong. I have business to attend to in the Palace of Astrum. The... Okay. Message. 
Oh, there's a blue shirt. Welcome. Damn it, I'm not in the house. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not. No. Hey, go ahead, send me the feet. We're joking. Okay. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this mission. We gorse it. It's outworlder technology. It'll depend on the world. Mr. Xiao, I'm Ming Shi, the secretary of the Merchant Guild. Ugh, forget it. I support the IPC. Can you tell us why? Please leave. I don't recall. Let's leave for now. Okay. Wait. Please wait a moment. Are you talking? It sounded like my father was being a little difficult. I'm Xiao Han. People around here call me Little Master. If mm. I'm not mistaken, you're the ones who made Representative Scott apologize in public. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't give myself that name. It's what my friends have always called me. May I ask why you wanted to speak with my father? We need the support of the merchants for the dock. And we wanted to see if your father could join us. Hadn't my father already refused? We heard that Mr. Xiao proposed to reorganize the Merchant Guild, and we wanted to ask why. I see. I'll help you figure something out. Great! Uh, your father is a very tough nut to crack. The older generation of craftsmen can be rather set in their ways. Here, how about this? Why not join my father's shop as apprentices? My father is stern on the surface. But if he sees a capable apprentice and a sincere heart, he'll change his attitude. A sincere heart always has the power to impress people. So it's decided? Let's get moving then. Time to. Father, my friends from the Merchant Guild want to be your apprentices. Nonsense. I, I never said I needed more hands. Even if I did want to hire more people, I couldn't afford them. I can cover their salaries. Come on, it'd be rude to turn them away. Don't be ridiculous. A green hand like her won't be able to fix a thing. Oh, Plus, okay. if she breaks our customer items in the process, <laughs> it'll be us taking the blame. If that's what you're worried about, just give them a little training. <sighs> that sounds like a yes to me. Let's get on with the job, shall we? Here's something from one of our regulars. Show him what you can do. Okay. Uh, oh. Easy. Uh. First off. Hard to impress. I'll find you some more work. Oh, what did I do to deserve? Just a reminder, Father. Fair work for fair pay. Over here. See what you can do with this Jade Abbot. Don't just stand there, Father. Go teach your apprentice a thing or two. Fine. I I give in. I know why you're here. Just please stop tinkering with my customers' items. It's fine. Just. Leave it as it is. Ask what you wanted to ask. Yes, he's an old friend. I see a lot of potential in the corporation's plan. But a certain old friend of mine lives in the past. Whatever vision he has, it won't come true. Issue? It's less about issues and more about stubbornness. 
Stubbornness is intrinsic to long life species. We walk a single path, do the same things, and talk to the same people for centuries. The mind can become insensitive to change. However, compared to the president, my stubbornness is nothing. Back in his day, our O'Malley was teeming with shuttling star skiffs and commercial... But then the law food departed again on the path of the hunt. Our business partners couldn't follow, so they stopped trading with us. The president does. He wants to bring the old times back. Shop owners like me know that's impossible. Therefore, I stand behind the IPC's plan. Our O'Malley will inevitably be replaced. But is your shop part of the future that the IPC pro- uh, Hard to say. Chances are I'll have to sell it. Not the easiest decision to make, but I won't regret it. The good days are behind us. We must accept that short life species will repurpose our lands and that Night markets are destined to become shipping docks. We must come to terms with the fact that short life ambitions will reshape a world where things were thought to last forever. Mr. Xiao, why not try working with us? Ming Si is pushing for reforms within the guild. We are nothing like the president. R reforms? They made a lot of good points when arguing with the IPC at the dock. I do see possibilities for the guild to change. Given the state of the guild, my money is on the IPC winning. But since I've accepted the worst case scenario, our O'Malley ceasing to exist, I can't see why it hurts to endorse your idea. Let's see how far it takes us. Thank you. Now that you have joined our revival project, I'm sure many others will follow suit. Hmm. That's settled then. I'm curious to see what comes of your plan. Okay. Now that Mr. Zhao is on board, his shop can be part of the logistics network we've been working on. Okay, that's good. Didn't I already do this? Oh, wait, this is a second area? It sounds like they say NPC. They somehow know what they are an NPC. Also, we also all NPC are not allowed to allow such as uh, to sort of confess annoying. Nice, strong opinions. We'll head back to the dock for now. Uh, Thanks for all the hard work, by the way. Hope things work out just as smoothly down the line. Okay. I swear these people just appeared out of thin air. More messages. Okay, 
Gelen bu bulundum basically bu ne bu zaz. Everyone's in a group. Yay. Okay. This actually shall be. And thirty thousand. Is it a timer? No. Okay. This shall be part one of possibly three parts and then I'm gonna probably do like a giant stream to get all of this done like on the last couple of streams I'll just get all of it done last two streams by the way this is part one of potentially three maybe four depending on what date it is five six seven eight yeah possibly this will be part one of Possibly three, could be two, if it all ends in the next episode. Um, of restoring. Um, restoring, restoring, restoring. Ard room out. Um, for the people on Twitch, thank you all for watching to the end of this, um, episode. And I would hope to embark on the, um, further more of this journey tomorrow. Um, so we can actually, well, do a lot more on this, um, like, restoring and trying to see if we can finish all the missions before we finish this, this thing. And we're going to the next game, the next part. Okay, so, now that's out of the way. Um, wait, I hope to to see all of you in the next stream. That. Hope to see all of you on the next stream. And for the people watching this back on YouTube, on the right here shall be my latest video, on the left here shall be my first video of this series, but be warned from 15 to 30, my voice does jump and the audio is sketchy, it's okay to skip that, it's completely fine, I would skip it too. In the center here is the subscribe button, if you do like more videos like this one, please leave a like, and if you want to, if you want to see more videos like this one, Please click that subscribe button and you're going to get notified for the future uploads. Please click that notification bell. I'll see you all next time. Bye.